there is something really weird going on with Evergrow right now. So I'm going to elaborate more on what this is. But before I do, I just want to say a special shout out. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Double shout out. Thank you to Rem AG for being a higher tiered supporter. I really do appreciate it, guys. There's a link in the description if you'd like to join that for as little as $1 a month. Also, please keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinions, my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. And let's get into it, okay? So I'm taking a look here. I was actually preparing to do a video. Overall, on a one-hour time frame, this looks like a very bullish trend pattern. This is a descending wedge suggesting that it's uh, more probable it's going to go up than to go down. And I was looking at a level for it to break up to around 33.89, which would basically match right up with where that previous high was, right? However, here's the thing. I saw the price all of a sudden take this huge dip. And as I was looking at the price charts here, I saw a huge sell order come through for, let's go ahead and try and Get this moved over here. $545,770. So over half a million dollar sell order that went through. I was like, whoa, okay, a whale decided to take some profit. That happens, right? So here's the thing. That whale, when I go and check it out on the Binance Smart Chain and looking at its history for Evergrow, it only shows two different orders. So I think there's still more issues that are going on with BSC scan for tracking data right now. I don't know what it is that's happening with that, but um, yeah, check this out. So this was 70 billion for the first one. And then the second one here was 429 billion. And that 429 billion does match up with this order right here. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe it is tracking correctly. I think I was just looking at it reversed and crossed my men, my mind somehow. Here's what's really interesting though, is look at all these other orders, the $10,400, uh, $10, each one of these is basically the same amount of money, but they're all coming from different wallet addresses. You can see the transaction over here on the very far right hand side, 0x7b85, here's another one, 0x1dc9, here's another one, 0x7f0f, 0x78E2, and it's all basically the same amounts. There's another $10,300 one. Um, 10300 10300 I mean, it's back to back to back to back to back, and it's just one different wall address after another, after another, after another. Hypothetically, somebody could have went out and made a whole bunch of different wallet addresses. That stuff happens. There's many people that have more than one cryptocurrency wallet. This is a lot of money in each individual wallet. Maybe when they got started, they made up a whole bunch of smaller ones. But the fact that all of this is happening in quick succession, all of this within like, look, this one right here, 2.12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 17 seconds. The one before that was about not even a minute before that. So for you to log out, to log in, it takes time unless you're using something like maybe Trust Wallet, which this person, they probably did. If they had a list of all their other wallets, they could just swap over to the next one, go in quickly, put in the order, and sell that. So I don't know if this is sort of like a group of people coming together, but the fact that it's happening in such quick succession um, kind of makes me feel like as if it's somebody that's logging out, going into another wallet, well, not necessarily logging out, but just swapping over to another wallet and selling off more. And, you know, if they were trying to do everything all simultaneously, and I think we would see that be a little bit more relevant. So this one right here does kind of suggest that, though, to be fair, 2.11, and there was only a 15-second time difference between those. So you would go into PancakeSwap, connect your wallet, click through, and click the sell order. That's super, super fast. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know on this one. That one was only three seconds apart, actually. That's, uh, yeah, that's physically impossible unless you've got all your devices ready. That's another option, I guess. Why do I feel like this is all super high for some reason? Okay. Um, I guess another option is that they had a bunch of different devices all ready to go and... They just started selling them off on each one. But it's really weird. I don't know what the incentive for somebody 
would be to do that because the thing is you create slippage, right? So yeah, they're not selling everything all off at once, but you're only creating a time difference of like, was it six seconds on one of them, a minute or so from another? Like that's no time for it to really recover. And that over half a million dollar sell order, that $545,770, that's, uh, we're talking big money. We're talking big, big money. Just in general, even if you look at stuff like Bitcoin, over here on the far right-hand side, everything you see here is at least $100,000. So you get 125000 100000 There's a $586,000 sell order. But think about the volume, how much activity is actually taking place, how many institutions are in with Bitcoin as compared to, say, something like Evergrow. So it looks like it's starting to quiet down now. There's a twenty-one, almost a $22,000 buy order. So it's not all negative, right? You're getting a lot of smaller buy orders, a lot of people trying to buy up that dip. Uh, oh, there's another sell order, another $10,300. What is up with that? It's $10,300, $10,300 over and over again. 0x5C, 0x95, 0x36, 6. these are different wallet addresses. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like eight, and they all followed right after that five hundred thousand dollar sell order. So if you do eight times ten, that's eighty thousand dollars right there. At least, with the well eight, and then you've got the three, so that's like eighty two, eighty three thousand dollars or so. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Do you think they're going to keep pushing it further and further down? Because right now it is definitely, definitely hurting. That is a pretty big size volume and red candle right there let's see if it's going to hold up support around the 1087 so with the shenanigans that are going on right there that could definitely pose a threat to this dropping down below this level of support but from what i can tell um actually you know what it's hard for me to tell i don't know if it's a group of people coming together and they're all selling it at the same time or what because i haven't seen anything bad Recently, in regards to Evergrow, everything looks like it's been holding strong. They're doing AMAs. They're pumping out uh, updates. They're they're looking good, in my opinion. But we'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. I got referral links for free cryptocurrency or free stock. If you guys want to get some free money. And also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. Click that bell icon so you know whenever we go live. And I will see you in the next episode.